can't find it. It doesn't seem to be on any of these stations. Keep looking. Oh, you're going too slow. Let me take the wheel. It's too fast. How could you even tell what's on? I can tell. What's going on, guys? Too late. Back, back, back. Too late. I'm in the 40s. Gotta go around the horn. Faster. Loot from the series. So, let's get into this grind. Now, Ed. In today's loot from video, I'll be killing brutal black dragons for 10 hours. Now, this is a really good money maker, so looking forward to seeing how much I can make. Let's see how I get on. Okay, so before I start, I mentioned on my loot from 10 hours of dark crabs that I'll give away what I made in those 10 hours, which was 3.4 mil. I've got all your comments with your name, etc. So I'm going to reveal the giveaway winner now, and the winner is Liam Whiteman. Congratulations, mate! You've just won 3.4 mil. Hopefully that'll go towards something and I'll PM you later on in game and give you your winnings. And thank you to everyone else who have participated and commented. I will be doing more giveaways soon, so yeah, make sure you like, subscribe and all that other good stuff. So yeah, let's get back to the video. So in my last video, which was loot from 10,000 crystal keys, it done really well. It got over a thousand views in around a day, as well as 58 likes. So thank you so much for that. So in today's video, I'll be killing brutal black dragons. Now these brutal black dragons are level 318 and found in the catacombs of Krend. Now they are a lot stronger than the normal black dragons, hence why they are called brutal. Now there is a few ways of getting here. If you are standing at Krend Castle where I am now, you can use the Xerix Talisman to the heart. Or you can use this in your POH. You can also use the Karen Teleport which requires 69 magic or you can use that in your POH portal as well or the Nexus to get to Karen. So once you're here you want to investigate the statue which is in the middle and you can't miss it and once you're inside I'll show you on the minimap where they are so just simply go northwest uh, part of the dungeon and you can't miss them and at the back of this area there is a vine which you can climb up and once you do this you can now access the brutal dragon area much faster using this shortcut which brings us to the fastest route on how to get here so this time you're going to use your Xerix talisman to the inferno then run east till you see an arrow icon on your minimap and that is where the shortcut is to the dragons you can also use the Coralist memoirs which takes you closer to the entrance and gives you 40 charges now if you do run out of charges you will need one law rune body mind and soul to charge this and you will need to teleport to the Karen woodlands using a rada blessing now if you don't have this you can use the skills necklace to the woodcutting guild and run west and once you're at this location where the hunter icon is, inspect the old memorial and go for a short dialogue and choose the option recharge Corridus Memoirs and it will tell you what runes you have but as soon as you have them in your inventory then that's fine and just choose how many charges you want in your book so you can choose 3, 10, it doesn't really matter but just choose the highest one uh, that you've got and every torn page you add to the memoirs gives you 8 additional charges as well so that is how you do that now for banking I use my mats cape at the crafting guild and then I use my cape back to my POH to regenerate my stats etc and then use the Xeric talisman back to the inferno but if you don't have a crafting cape or a mats cape etc you could just simply climb up the vines from the dragons once you're done with your trips and then run south as there is a close bank and restore your stats you can use a ring of jewel into the ferox enclave which is the new clan wars and lms area run west until you see the white portal go in there and go back out and then everything should be back to normal so back to the brutal dragons and after 15 minutes of my 10 hours i received my first totem piece which was the middle part and that is a drop rate of one in 185 now you can kill these off task which is nice and if you want to kill these on task you will need 77 slayer which isn't a high requirement as they are really good money. Now I would recommend having at least 75 range just so you can use a blowpipe and at least 74 prayer to use rigor. I would only use rigor if you are low range level. Now for the gear setup I'm wearing my best range gear so full armadillo, barrows gloves, assembler mats cape, pegs, archers ring imbued and twisted bow with amethyst arrows. I use these arrows just because they are considerably cheaper than dragon arrows and you can still hit very high. Also if you don't have armadillo you can use void range as well and if you don't have void or armadillo you can use blessed dehyde which is not too bad as well. Also if you don't have a twisted bow then you can use a dragon hunter crossbow or blowpipe. Now for my inventory it'll be very minimal as I'll be banking a lot, so I'm taking one range in potion, one regular extended anti-fire and one super restore. I also have a rune pouch in me with alk runes as these dragons drop a lot of alkable rune and dragon items. I also have protection from magic on at all times otherwise I get hit really hard. If you're at melee distance it can hit up to 28 damage so you have to be careful as there's not much room in this area. 
Only been here for half an hour and I've received my first Dragon Dart tips as 124k on top of the Black Dragonite and his Soul Dragon Head as well, so not a bad drop. I'm one hour in now guys and I get my first Elite Clue Scroll. I wasn't expecting one this early but I can't complain so let's see what I get in the casket. 125k, god that is bad. I'm not going to talk about that one alright there you go. So I'm a couple of hours in now guys and I get my second Elite Clue Scroll, really pleased about that. Let's complete this and see if I get something a little better than my last one. Here is the casket and I get 235k, not great but it could be worse. Let's get back to those brutals. I must say I am really surprised about how good the XP rates are as well as GP per hour. I worked out I was getting around 80k range XP per hour which is really good and some people say you can make around 1.2 mil to 1.4 mil GP per hour but I was making just that little bit more and I'll tell you near the end of the video. Oi oi another hard clue thank you very much. To be honest I'm not really expecting anything good from this clue so let's see what I get. And I get the casket and I receive third age. 109k. I get another clue scroll guys and I'm on my third hard clue. Now the one I got beforehand I forgot to record and I didn't get a lot anyway. I think it was like 100k so it wasn't anything special. This time I made sure I recorded so please give me something good. I'm coming off. Five hours in now guys and I'm getting really lucky with these dragon dart tips. This is my eighth drop so far so let the luck continue. Now talking of drops, I'm going to go through some of the items that the Brutal Black Dragon drops and they've got a decent drop table as well. So starting off with the Dragon Bones and Black Dragonite which you get every time you kill a dragon. So that's 8k per kill plus all the other items you can get such as the Dragon Plate Legs and Skirt, Dragon Spear and Uncut Dragonstone which are all drop rates of 1 in 512. Now I would only out the Dragon Plate Legs and Skirt if you want some profit. Next we have a lot more alkable items here such as the Rune Hastar, the Rune Spear, Rune Plate Legs, Rune Plate Body, two Rune Full Helms, Rune Long Sword, Black the Eyed Body and Van Braces, Dragon Med Helm, Long Sword and Dragon Dagger. The other items such as the Darts, Knife and Throwing Axes you can keep and sell in the Grand Exchange later. Next we have some runes, so Blood, Death, Soul and Law runes as well as some Rune Arrows and Rune Javelins. Next we have some material items such as lava scales, dragon dart tips which is 123k, dragon arrow tips and dragon javelin heads. Next we have some coin drops so nothing special there. They commonly drop angler fish which could be handy if you're on low health. Next is the rare drop table and as always there is a lot of items that are alkable but some are junk but since this is a loop from 10 hours I'll be picking up everything. Now the more exciting part of the drop table we have the insult dragon heads which could be used for prayer. We have the Brimstone Keys, which is only if you're on a Konar Slayer task, of course. We have the Hard Clue Scroll, which is 1 in 128. The Elite Clue Scroll, which is 1 in 250. And the Draconic Visage, which is 1 in 10k, priced at 3.8 mil, so good luck with that. And as we are killing these in the Catacombs of Karend, you can get some Ancient Shards, which can be used on your Arc Light for charges, and that is a 1 in 123 drop rate. Also you can get the totem pieces and if you combine all three pieces together you'll make a full totem which gives you the opportunity to fight the boss Katizo. Also they are a drop rate of 1 in 185 so yeah a very decent drop table. I finally get my first dragon piece which is dragon plate skirt so that's 161k on top of the bones and black dragonoid. So yeah I'm going to out this for some profit and hopefully I'll get some more. I'm 7 hours in now guys and during these 10 hours I was taking a lot more damage than I should have just because I kept getting hit by the melee attacks and when I kill a dragon the loot drops right next to the other dragon that I'll be attacking and when I pick it up I get hit for a 20 odd which can be quite annoying and as these are aggressive dragons as soon as I kill one the next dragon attacks me almost instantly and then I get hit for another 20 odd just my luck. Uh, so yeah if the area was just a little bit bigger we wouldn't have these problems but there you go. I am 8 hours in now guys and I get myself my third elite clue scroll. I finally get something good guys so check this out. So throughout these 10 hours I've been getting really good drops such as the totem pieces, a lot of the dragon dart tips, rune items, dragon items etc. Obviously I didn't want to show you every single item as it would be a bit repetitive and boring for you guys. But here's a little highlight reel that you've just been seeing now of all the drops I've been getting. So yeah, coming up to the last kill of the 10 hours now, and once I've killed this, I'll show you everything that I have made. 
Okay, so we've got a couple of invents here. So this is the first lot of loot uh, that I got from the 10 hours of Brutal Dragons. Um, this is mainly clues and some other miscellaneous items from the dragon. So let's price check this small amount of loot. And we get just over one mil, so not too bad. So like I said, this is all from clues and some miscellaneous items from uh, the Brutal Black Dragons. So now we're gonna move on to the main price check with all the best loot. So here is the main loot that I got from the Brutal Black Dragons and I'm going to price check this and I've made an extra 15.6 mil so add that on top of the first price check which was 1 mil and 80k so in total I've made 16.7 mil now minus the arrows I used which was 1800 also the pots as well so all together that's 300k so minus that that's 16.3 mil so really pleased about that I also have the totem pieces as well and I managed to get two full totems which is really really nice and I also got four ancient shards as well so I'm going to add those to the bank and save them for a future video. So on average I was making around 1.6 mil GP an hour which was a little bit more than what people say and what the wiki said as well. Maybe it's because of the T-bow I'm not too sure but nevertheless it's really good for 10 hours worth of loot. So let's go through some of this. So, we have 3.4 mil worth of black dragon ideas, so 1,000 odd. We have 720 dark tips, which is 2 mil. And I got really lucky with these as I was getting these quite often. We got 591 dragon bones, which is 1.3 mil. We got some runes here. We got blood runes, 1,900, so 760k. We got some death runes, which is 451k. Got some laws and soul runes. We've got a lot of rune art all here. Well, only a little bit but it does add up to nearly 500k lava scale shards here 95 of them so that's 375k and yeah we've got a big cash stack here and that is because we high out all the rune full helms the hasters dragon items etc so that came to a nice cash stack of 4.4 mil so really really pleased now before I end this video I did make a poll recently asking you guys what video I should be doing next and it looks like Zalcano is going to be my next video uh, but I will go in order from the most amount of votes to the least so it does give me something to do for the next couple of weeks. So that is the end of the video guys and if you like the video make sure you give this a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on those notifications. So until next time I'll see you guys in the next video.